the book of Psalms, Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahuwah, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For Yahuwah knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 2 Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahuwah and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Yahuwah shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. Yahuwah hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Yahuwah with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Psalm 3 Yahuwah, how are they in priests that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in Elohim, Selah. But thou, O Yahuwah, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto Yahuwah with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for Yahuwah sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Yahuwah, save me, O my Elohim, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto Yahuwah. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Psalm 4 Hear me when I call, O Elohim of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me, and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity, and seek after leasing? Selah. But I know that Yahuwah has set apart him that is godly for himself. Yahuwah will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in Yahuwah. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Yahuwah, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Yahuwah, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalm 5 Give ear to my words, O Yahuwah, 
consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my Elohim, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Yahua. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not an Elohim that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. Yahua will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Yahua, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O Elohim. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee, for thou, Yahua, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Psalm 6 O Yahuwah, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah, for I am weak, O Yahuwah, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, but thou, O Yahuwah, how long? Return, O Yahuwah, deliver my soul, O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee, in the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning, all the night make I my bed to swim, I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxeth old because of all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For Yahuwah hath heard the voice of my weeping. Yahuwah hath heard my supplication. Yahuwah will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Psalm 7 O Yahuwah, my Elohim, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver. O Yahuwah, my Elohim, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy, let the enemy persecute my soul and take it, yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust, Selah. Arise, O Yahua, in thine anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake from me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about. For their sakes therefore return thou on high. Yahuwah shall judge the people. Judge me, O Yahuwah, according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous Elohim trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of Elohim, which saveth the upright in heart. Elohim judgeth the righteous, and Elohim is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instrument of death. He ordaineth his arrows 
against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise Yahuwah according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of Yahuwah Most High. Psalm 8 O Yahuwah, our Adonai, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man? that thou art mindful of him, and the Son of Man, that thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. O Yahuwah, our Adonai, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Psalm 9 I will praise thee, O Yahuwah, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou Most High. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou sattest in the throne, judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out thy, their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But Yahuwah shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Yahuwah also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Yahuwah, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to Yahuwah, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me, thou that liftest me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Yahuwah is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higeon, Silah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget Elohim. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Yahuwah, let not man prevail, let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Yahuwah, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Psalm 10 why standest thou afar off, O Yahuwah? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous, whom Yahuwah abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after Elohim. Elohim is not in all his thoughts. 
His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, Elohim hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Yahua, O Elohim, lift up thine hand. Forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked contemn Elohim? He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite, to requite it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. Yahuwah is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Yahuwah, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Psalm 11 In Yahuwah put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For, lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Yahuwah is in his holy temple. Yahuwah's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Yahuwah trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Yahuwah loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. Psalm 12 Help, Yahuwah, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. Yahuwah shall cut off all flattering lips, and the tongue that speaketh proud things, who have said, With our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, saith Yahuwah. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of Yahuwah are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Yahuwah, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Psalm 13 How long wilt thou forget me, O Yahuwah? Forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Yahuwah, my Elohim. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemy say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto Yahuwah, because he hath dealt bountifully with me.
Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, There is no Elohim. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Yahuwah looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Elohim. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon Yahuwah? There were they in great fear, for Elohim is in the generation of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because Yahuwah is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when Yahuwah bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Psalm 15 Yahuwah, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly, and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned. But he honoreth them that fear Yahuwah, he that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O Elohim, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto Yahuwah, Thou art my Adonai, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that haste after another god. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. Yahuwah is a portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless Yahuwah, who have given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set Yahuwah always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine Holy One to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life, and thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17 Hear the right, O Yahuwah, attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer, that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me, and shalt find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the words of thy lips, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O Elohim. Incline thine ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee. From those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who come past me about, they are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now come past us in our steps. 
They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Yahua, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand, O Yahua, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Psalm 18 I will love thee, O Yahuwah, my strength. Yahuwah is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my Elohim, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon Yahuwah, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death come past me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon Yahuwah and cried unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. Yahuwah also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomforted them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahuwah was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahuwah and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim. For all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath Yahuwah recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful, thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the froward, thou wilt show thyself froward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, Yahuwah my Elohim will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my Elohim have I leaped over a wall. As for Elohim, his way is perfect. The word of Yahuwah is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is Elohim save Yahuwah? Or who is a rock save our Elohim? It is Elohim that girdeth me with strength, and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds' feet, and setteth me upon my high places. 
He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahua, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they shall hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Yahuwah liveth, and blessed be my rock. And let the Elohim of my salvation be exalted. It is Elohim that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Yahuwah, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy unto his anointed, to David and to his seed for evermore. Psalm 19 The heavens declare the glory of Elohim, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the end of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of Yahuwah is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahuwah is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of Yahuwah are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of Yahuwah is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahuwah is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahuwah are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 20 Yahuwah, hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the Elohim of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary, and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Selah. Grant thee according to thine own heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. 
and in the name of our Elohim, we will set up our banners. Yahuwah, fulfill all thy petitions. Now know I that Yahuwah saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahuwah our Elohim. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Yahuwah. Let the king hear us when we call. Psalm 21 The king shall joy in thy strength, O Yahuwah, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice! Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withholden the request of his lips. Selah. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him. Even length of days, for ever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty hast thou laid upon him, for thou hast made him most blessed for ever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in Yahuwah, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies, thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. Yahuwah shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee, they imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Be thou exalted, Yahuwah, in thine own strength, so will we sing and praise thy power. Psalm 22. Eli, Eli, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me, and from the words of my roaring? O my Elohim, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted on Yahuwah that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my Elohim from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have come past me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a pot herd, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws. And thou hast brought me into the dust of death, for dogs have come past me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them, and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Yahuwah, O my strength, 
haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear Yahuwah, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him, and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard, My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise Yahuwah that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto Yahuwah, and all the kindreds of the nation shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is Yahuwah's, and he is a governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to Yahuwah for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born, that he hath done this. Psalm 23 Yahuwah is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Yahuwah forever. Psalm 24 The earth is Yahuwah's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of Yahuwah, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from Yahuwah, and righteousness from the Elohim of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahuwah, strong and mighty. Yahuwah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Yahuwah Seveoth. He is the King of glory. Selah. Psalm 25. Unto thee, O Yahuwah, do I lift up my soul. O my Elohim, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Yahuwah. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, 
for thou art the Elohim of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Yahua, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me, for thy goodness sake, O Yahua. Good and upright is Yahua. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of Yahua are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Yahua, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth Yahua? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of Yahuwah is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward Yahuwah, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O Elohim, out of all his troubles. Psalm 26 Judge me, O Yahua, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in Yahua, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Yahua, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evil doers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash mine hands in innocency, so will I come past thine altar, O Yahua, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Yahua, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity. Redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place, and the congregations will I bless Yahua. Psalm 27 Yahuwah is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Yahuwah is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of Yahua, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahua all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Yahua, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. 
Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto Yahuwah. Hear, O Yahuwah, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Yahuwah, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O Elohim of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then Yahuwah will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Yahuwah, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahuwah in the land of the living. Wait on Yahuwah, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on Yahuwah. Psalm 28 Unto thee will I cry, O Yahuwah, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest, if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors, Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of Yahuwah, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be Yahuwah, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. Yahuwah is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. Yahuwah is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Psalm 29 Give unto Yahuwah, O ye mighty, give unto Yahuwah glory and strength. Give unto Yahuwah the glory due unto his name. Worship Yahuwah in the beauty of holiness. The voice of Yahuwah is upon the waters. The Elohim of glory thundereth. Yahuwah is upon many waters. The voice of Yahuwah is powerful. The voice of Yahuwah is full of majesty. The voice of Yahuwah breaketh the cedars. Yea, Yahuwah breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of Yahuwah divideth the flames of fire. The voice of Yahuwah shaketh the wilderness. Yahuwah shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Yahuwah maketh the hinds to calve, and discovereth the forest, and in his temple doth every one speak of his glory. Yahuwah sitteth upon the flood, yea, Yahuwah sitteth king forever. Yahuwah will give strength unto his people, Yahuwah will bless his people with peace.
Psalm 30. I will extol thee, O Yahuwah, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Yahuwah, my Elohim, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Yahuwah, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto Yahuwah, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Yahuwah, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Yahuwah, and unto Yahuwah I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Yahuwah, and have mercy upon me. Yahuwah, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end, that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Yahuwah, my Elohim, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Psalm 31 In thee, O Yahuwah, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for a house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Yahuwah, Elohim of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in Yahuwah. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Yahuwah, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Yahuwah. I said, Thou art my Elohim. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Yahuwah, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be Yahuwah, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, Thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love Yahuwah, all ye his saints. For Yahuwah preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage 
and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in Yahuwah. Psalm 32 Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom Yahuwah imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto Yahuwah, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin, Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as a horse or as a mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in Yahuwah, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in Yahuwah, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Psalm 33 Rejoice in Yahuwah, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise Yahuwah with heart. Sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of Yahuwah is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of Yahuwah, by the word of Yahuwah were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathereth the waters of the sea together as a heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahuwah. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. Yahuwah bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of Yahuwah standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose Elohim is Yahuwah, and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Yahuwah looketh from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth, he fashioneth their hearts alike. He considereth all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of Yahuwah is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for Yahuwah. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Yahuwah, be upon us, according as we hope in thee. Psalm 34 I will bless Yahuwah at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in Yahuwah. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify Yahuwah with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahuwah, and he heard me, 
and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and Yahuwah heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of Yahuwah encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that Yahuwah is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear Yahuwah, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek Yahuwah shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of Yahuwah. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of Yahuwah are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of Yahuwah is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and Yahuwah heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Yahuwah is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahuwah delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Yahuwah redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Psalm 35 Plead my cause, O Yahuwah, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of Yahuwah chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of Yahuwah persecute them. For without cause have they hid from me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in Yahuwah, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Yahuwah, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced, and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me, and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Adonai, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they open their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye has seen it. This thou hast seen, O Yahuwah. Keep not silence, 
O Adonai, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my Elohim, and my Adonai. Judge me, O Yahuwah, my Elohim, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let Yahuwah be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Psalm 36 The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of Elohim before his eyes, for he flattereth himself in his own eyes, until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Thy mercy, O Yahuwah, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are a great deep. O Yahuwah, thou preservest man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O Elohim! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is a fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Psalm 37 Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in Yahuwah, and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in Yahuwah, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto Yahuwah, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in Yahuwah, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahuwah, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Adonai shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. 
A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but Yahuwah upholdeth the righteous. Yahuwah knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied, but the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of Yahuwah shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, and to smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahuwah, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahuwah upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell for evermore. For Yahuwah loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved for ever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein for ever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his Elohim is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. Yahuwah will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on Yahuwah, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading themselves like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of Yahuwah. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And Yahuwah shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him.